Luis Felipe Madeira Caído Figo is one of the greatest players in La Liga history. The Portuguese played over 300 games in the first division, scoring more than 60 goals and being named the best player in the world. He achieved this playing for the two giants of Spanish football, Barcelona and Real Madrid. I think it's important for young players to have an example to follow. In my case, the reference for me was always one player, Paolo Futre. In the 1995-96 season, he played under Johan Cruyff at Barca, something that would shape his career. Figo burst onto the scene and became the club captain, guiding the Blaugranas to numerous trophies. My experience was fantastic. I found out about a completely new training and playing philosophy. It was my first experience of being outside Portugal. It couldn't have started better. Unfortunately, it only lasted a season. However, as the years have gone by, and with Johan not with us anymore, he continues to be present through his methods. And a lot of current coaches are still using them. That says everything about Johan Cruyff. However, undoubtedly the definitive point in his time as a player came when he left Barca for their eternal rivals, Real Madrid. It was obviously difficult for me. There was a lot of pressure. There were moments in which I didn't think I'd do it. It wasn't just about the sporting or economic side. It involved a lot more people. That's why there are always doubts at that kind of situation. You're thinking about what you should do until you make the move, and then there's no way back. In the end, I think it's the same in every area and every profession. When you don't feel sufficiently acknowledged, and I don't mean by the fans by this, but rather the club, you aren't 100% committed, and that means you consider a change when another offer comes to you. And that's what happened. Two of his friends are now coaching in La Liga Santander at his former clubs. Figo rates the work of Zinedine Zidane and Luis Enrique highly, and wouldn't be keen to be in their place. At the moment, I don't have the curiosity necessary to think about being a coach. I'd probably like to try coaching for the Portuguese national team or, or something similar. But it doesn't attract me that much. Because I know you can be a very good coach. And still, you don't get the results. For someone at a club like Real Madrid, where the difficulty level is at its highest, because they always need and want immediate results, I think Zidane is doing a phenomenal job. It would be hard to do it better. And Luis Enrique is doing a fantastic job as well. He's won so much since joining Barcelona, and he's put his personal stamp on the club's philosophy. When Luis Figo looks back on his career, he sees a life full of success, talent, and a strong personality when taking decisions. However, there is one thing that stands out for him above anything else. The recognition and respect of all my teammates. Besides the friendships you can make and the good people you can meet over the course of so many years, I think that's what I've taken away from football.